Hey guys, this is the quickest way to build a photography website through Notion. So you will need a Notion page done before, but let's just start with it. Step one is you can go on our website, pick up one of our templates. All of them are free, so uh, um, just knock yourself out. Let's see, photography freelancer portfolio web. Let's just get this one. So step one, go here, um, copy the template. I'll click duplicate right here. So I'll just copy it to my main workspace, wait a tiny, tiny bit while Notion does its thing. And then what I'll do is uh, I'll turn this page and all their sub pages into a website through simple.ink. So let's see, are we done? Yes, we're done. This is right now on my um, Notion workspace. Step two is click share. And by default, this will be uh, not ticked. So I wanna tick that and then click copy on this link. So you'll need to have this public, very important. Click copy, that's all you need. Now, step three, um, I already have a simple, I think, account, but if you don't, on any page, you will see um, something like this. Paste your Notion link here, so I'll just click paste. And then you have to click build a website. So we're making it super simple to kickstart your website building process on any page. Maybe you like this one better, maybe at the top of the page, maybe on our homepage, whatever. Just paste it there. I'm using Command V or Control V if you're on a Windows, that's Control V. Click the blue button or the white one or whatever because I already have an account and I'm, I need. I wanna show you guys all the possible ways, all the scenarios. I will go here and click add a new website. In here, I'm copying that very link which I was showing. So this one from right here. So at step one, do this. At step two, let's say uh, Dan Daniel's photography website one. Maybe there's another Daniel's photography website. I don't wanna steal the good subdomains from you guys. And as you can see, I've clicked, let's build it. And in the meantime, that's what was happening. So as far as I can tell, this website looks a bit, yeah, it looks a bit thick, so to speak. So we might have to wait a tiny bit more. Usually it's done in a second or three. All right, this time it was eight, but you get the point. It is fast enough to, to do the job. And that's it. This is now my Notion website, my photography website built in Notion with simple.ink. Um, we're trying to optimize everything for making it as simple as possible. And uh, we're trying to optimize for zero headache as we like to call it. So, um, Let's see, what else are we optimizing for zero headache? Let me let me try and test myself on the very sentence, on the very um, statement I made. So the first thing that comes to mind is that, let's say, I don't want this line right here. Uh, let me delete it. And yeah, that's how I want it to be. So the moment I make a couple of changes on the Notion page, on the initial page, and by the way, this will control your website. Uh, what happens is if I come here and click refresh a couple of times, um, or just wait a minute, I guess. Where are we? Oh no, I need to, oops. There we go. So what I've done is I've done Command Shift R or it will be Control Shift R in Chrome. What that does is it refreshes your website while clearing the cookies. So I could have gone, cleared the cookies, but I just clicked this. When you clear the cookies, um, your page is, your Notion page changes are absolutely instantly reflected on the um, on the live website, which is fantastically great because um, why people love, the, the main reason why people love Notion is, is the, the blocks and the fact that, okay, and the fact that it's so easy to move stuff around and see how fast it is to edit all these things. So before, instead of having to code or having to go for an agency, a freelancer, a developer, whatever, or maybe you know how to do it, or maybe you use something like Webflow, before having to go through all these steps, right now you can change those things about uh, you, the way you're presenting your photography business, for freelance photography business. And I know it changes pretty often, like maybe you wanna add a new album, maybe you wanna move some stuff around in, in here, maybe you wanna do this, that's it. That's not really matched by, anything else and um, if you work with a just with a person doesn't have to be a team obviously there's that delay in communication and blah 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 what have you by the way we're, we're kind of done with the with the guide I'm just showing I'm just talking now about some of the benefits but the guy was done in two minutes or something like that um, what was I saying yeah if we if we're if we're talking about communication 
obviously there's a time zone. Some people are sleeping at different times, whatever. This time you're by yourself. You're controlling your, uh, well, maybe not your destiny, but you're controlling your website. And uh, the moment you do this, uh, as I said, in a couple of minutes, it's instantly reflected on the live website. One thing I have, one other thing I have to show you as well is the fact that sub pages in Notion become sub pages in the website as well. So in this case, equipment insurance, um, it is a page here. If I click it here, we'll also see that it is a page right here as well. So you can go as complicated as you want with your freelance photography website. And this also applies to, um, let's say, let's click on Chris to the pages we have in databases. So in, uh, in tables, uh, needlessly to say every link you add is becoming a link as well in, um, on your simple .ink website. And, uh, let's see, what else should I tell photographers? Oh, the fact that right now you're on a dot simple dot ink subdomain, which is free. If you don't want to pay us, that's fine. We have a generous free plan, but if you have a custom domain, which you need to have bought from a registrar, let's say you have uh, photography.com. That would be a great domain. You would go right here. Let's add it. Or maybe you're not on the, on this page anymore. Whoops. Where am I? This one. Um, maybe you're on the home page right here, home page of that website. On the sidebar, site customization, domain. That's where you need to click. And we have this as a paid feature, custom domains. But well, as I said, if you're not looking to pay at this very moment or maybe ever, just stick to a free plan. We don't mind. And uh, you have a beautiful, that simple, I think, subdomain. And I've purposely picked a, an uglier one. But if photography, that simple, I think, which probably is available. If it is available, go and take it. I won't take it. F okay. It is available at the time of making this video. If it is available, by all means, go ahead and take it. It's yours. Uh, take it before somebody else takes it. Or maybe, I don't know, Mike, that simple, I think, or Michaela. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much all I have to show you about the basics of building a photography website with uh, Notion. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll, uh, I'm, I make sure I monitor the comment section so, so that I can come in and try and help clarify, explain more. But um, that was it. Cheers.